came here to do a little video basically for my birthday so I thought I'd do a little haul video um, this year I tried to be really good and not ask for like loads of clothes so I've not got bunches and bunches of clothes to share with you but I thought I would split up the part that were my kind of like presents and stuff that I'm going to buy because I think in the past I've done a video on kind of my birthday presents and what I've bought with my birthday money um, but I'm trying to be good and not go out and spend my birthday money all at once so I've got vouchers and stuff like I've got lush vouchers so I'm going to go treat myself to some goodies from there um, and then obviously got money and stuff from like grandparents and stuff like that so I've not yet spent that um, so I'm just going to share with you just a cute few little pieces that I got for my birthday and then um, later in the month I'll maybe share with you some of the things that I treated myself to as well. So the first thing I'm going to share with you are some amazing shoes that I got from Blowfish. Um, I love Blowfish because they do vegan shoes or so they don't, um, yeah so in case anyone doesn't know what vegan footwear is, they don't use leather basically. And I got some amazing shoes. Um, that my boyfriend purchased for me, um, with a little hint from myself. I didn't go picking these himself. He's not that amazing. <laughs> um, so I got these little T-bar Mary Jane shoes with the kind of cleated sole and um, a little kind of perforated edge there. I don't know if you can see that really up close. Um, maybe I'll do a little close-up shot of the shoe as well. So I got this pair. Um, and then I also got the little tassel loafer. So I got both of these. Um, and I'm just, I was just really excited to have these ones. I sent my boyfriend a list of like four different pairs of shoes that I liked from Blowfish. And he got me these two. With major hints from me for this one. So um, this is the one that I really, really wanted. So um, I was really hoping to get this pair so I was very happy when I saw them but then when I saw that he got me two pairs I was very excited. So I'm sure you'll be seeing both of these shoes in outfit posts very soon. My boyfriend also got me um, one of the Hogwarts classics, like selections. Um, I had mentioned something like this before because I have read Quidditch Through the Ages and some of the Tales of Beedle the Bard, but I've not read Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So I asked for the Classics Collection, um, because really I was hoping to read Fantastic Beasts, but this one um, only comes with a two, and I was really hoping that it had, had um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Because I'm sure I had a copy of that when I was younger. I don't remember reading it, because they came out for like the comic relief like books from J.K. Rowling, so I don't really remember Fantastic Beasts, so I'd like to find that book and get that one to read to go along with this kind of collection, because I have read these before, but it seems that maybe with the film coming out that the books are really expensive now, <laughs> so on eBay and stuff they're going for like £20 or something, but I don't really want to spend £20 on a tiny book, so I'm going to have to try and find one somewhere, because I know my sister got one in Sainsbury's or something for like Two ninety nine in the um, clearance section, so I'm gonna have to have a little look around if, because if I know that they're going for like that much, um, rather than the twenty quid on eBay, I'd rather do that. But I really thought this was such a cute little collection. I love Harry Potter so much, and these books are super cute in this little selection. So I was really happy to have those ones. I just need to find um, Fantastic Beasts to complete the collection. And I'm talking about Fantastic Beasts the book that came with this, not the script for the film, which I know is coming out and you can pre-order at the moment, so um, it's not actually that one that I'm looking for, in case anyone was going to be kind enough to mention that. Uh, I also got this book um, from my housemates, so it's Chernobyl Prayer. Now, in the summer, I don't know if some of you follow me on Instagram and stuff, you might have seen that I went to Chernobyl um, in... Ukraine for a day, like a day um, tour of it. So I went to Budapest and um, then I went to Kiev in Ukraine and then we went for a day trip to Chernobyl and I had an amazing time but I also found it really kind of weird that you tour somewhere that people used to live so I found it a bit peculiar when I left. That's kind of where I'd been. 
so my housemates have been very nice and got me this book which I have not yet read and I've not read any of it yet. Along with the book my housemates very kindly got me some stationery from Paper Chase and it's the Permaids collection. I don't know if anyone's seen that, if you read my blog you might have seen it on my stationery post recently but they're the most amazing like um, little prints. You get all sorts of things in the range and they're basically, if the print, I don't know if you can see it there, a cat mermaid, a permaid. Um, so I got these cute little um, little cards. So they come in the different prints and patterns. They're really cute. And then I also got um, the little pencils to go with it. So I might go back and treat myself to one of the diaries or like the notebooks or something so I can be crazy cat lady and have my pencils to write in my crazy permaids book. I'll post a link below um, so you can find that range if any of you haven't seen it yet because it really is amazing. You can get like pet lunch boxes and water bottles and stuff like that so I might have to be a crazy cat lady and go and get a new water bottle and stuff from that range. <laughs> And there's such lovely colours as well, it's not just the fact that it's cats and mermaids. Right, um, I then also got a few things from the Topshop sale from my mum. Um, well, the parts that are clothes anyway. So I chose a few things from there because I came across some bargains and I thought my mum always loves a bargain so I was like, can I have these for my birthday please? So I got these printed flares. Um, they're kind of like a knitted fabric, so I don't know if I've mentioned before, like I wasn't a huge fan of flares before. Um, like flared trousers or flared jeans, I'm not so keen on. But these are high-waisted, kind of knitted trousers. And the flare at the bottom isn't that huge, it's kind of just a little... It's not too much bigger, to be honest. It's more, so it's not too over the top. I mean, flares look amazing on some other people, but I'm not sure it's entirely my style, but... I really love these ones, they were reduced to £7 and they fit really nicely, they're so comfy. I actually wore them recently to work and it was like wearing pyjamas to work, so comfy. Um, so very happy with these ones. And then from Topshop I got pretty excited because um, the jewellery was buy one get one free in, um, in the sales section. So I went a bit crazy because I do you like my statement necklaces. There are a few necklaces that I wear really regularly um, that you might have seen in my blog posts. I have a silver one that has a few different coloured um, triangles on and then I also have um, one with these orange balls that hang off. So I got a little bit excited and I was like oh I can go and get loads of different colours, different necklaces. So this is my first one. Um, this one I have already wore with my flares and a little jumper. Um, this one's really cute, it's kind of, it's much shorter than I thought it was when I put it on, so it is sort of kind of this level, but like almost verging on a choker rather than lower down as my other necklaces are. I also got this one, um, it's a little bit different to the usual style that I would wear, but I thought if I've got a jumper on or a printed t-shirt, I do like to have something like this, um, kind of layered on top, I do quite like to have quite a bit around my my neck sometimes and I like the fact that it's got a little colour in the middle because that's one of the things that I like to do with my necklaces. Um, sometimes I like to kind of colour coordinate or other times I like to kind of like totally clash them so I like it when a statement necklace has a key colour in um, so then rather than the kind of monochrome then that way I can either pair it up and tie in some colours from somewhere else in my outfit or kind of just clash all together. So I'm not yet wore that one. Then I got this one. I like that the orange is around the neck and then the bit, I'm not entirely like, I'm not huge on gold but I like that the different kind of colours and the print again on the very bottom bit, the leopardy kind of bit with the stripes. So I think that would be really nice kind of clash with something else. Then the final one is slightly different, not the basic statement necklace. It's one of the long ones and it's just got this cute little pink ball on the end and the main reason I got this one is if anyone follows me on Instagram you may have seen that I got a pair of earrings oh actually I have them in front of me I've got them here so I had these not long ago and now I got the necklace I mean I don't know if I would actually wear them both together but I might do but 
I just really like the colour of this one. So those all together, because each of them were £6, and it was buy one get one free, so I got all four of those necklaces for £12, which I was pretty impressed with. <laughs> um, that's all I got um, in terms of clothes. I'm not going to go through all of the other things, like the little bits and bobs that I got. Um, I did get tickets to see Jamie T um, in October, so I'm quite excited about that. But I don't really want to go through and kind of waffle about stuff that's not like fashion or stationery or jewellery. <laughs> but um, recently I've been trying to find a pair of jeans. I mean, I probably have way too many jeans anyway. But I've been looking for more high-waisted jeans because I have kind of like my favourite kind of mum style jeans that I wear a lot but then I'd like to have a pair that aren't my favourites if you see what I mean like you don't always want to wear your favourite ones out so I kind of wanted some different ones um maybe some different coloured ones or that aren't the ones that I wear all the time so that I could kind of change them up a bit maybe put some patches on maybe cut them up so they're a bit shorter at the bottom and whenever I look for high waisted jeans on eBay and stuff they're so expensive at the moment where you go to like a vintage shop and it's like £25 and I was like I'm not going to spend £25 on a pair of jeans, I'm probably just going to like cut up a bit or I'm going to do something too that might spoil them. So I was thinking about like my, um, my waist size and then I was searching them online and it came up with some men's jeans and I thought that maybe men's jeans might be a bit more high waisted because they've got like more area in the crotch area. <laughs> so um, I ended up looking on eBay and finding this like set of three pairs of jeans um, listed in my waist size and I thought I might as well buy them and see if they kind of fit me and then that way whenever I'm in vintage shops I can kind of check menswear as well as women's and these were like five pounds for the three pairs and free delivery or it was like five pound with delivery I can't remember it worked out really cheap whatever it was so these came through just the other day and the first pair I'm going to get them all over the place are this kind of these this blue pair these are high, not like totally high waisted, but they're high rise, I'd say. Um, they come literally, like the sides, I don't know, maybe because it's men's, this bit from the button literally just sits just underneath my belly button. But the rest, like on, right above my hips and on the back, they're higher up. So they seem to just scoop just a little bit at the front. But then um, the bottom are quite wide as well. So I've used those to kind of roll up the way um, that I, when I tried them on rolled them up so then I can wear some ankle boots or something with them but they fit really nicely at the back as well so I was pretty pleased with those then the other colour they're a bit darker and not necessarily like the main colour that I would go for um, this pair here but they fit amazingly they're like super high waisted pretty much fit like mum jeans the only issue I had is I've, I've not washed them yet and they've got this kind of line this seam where whoever's wore them has put a seam down the front of their jeans I've not seen that for ages um, so I'm hoping when I wash them out that's not going to be kind of like faded there or something um, but they fit really nicely high waisted at the back as well not like they can be high waisted at the front and not the back but um, they don't like scoop anywhere <laughs> so they fit really nicely they are a bit wider at the bottom as well so they're not really like skinny like some mum jeans are so I don't know whether to try and maybe cut these at the bottom a little bit so they're a bit more frayed um, but yeah, now I have a couple pairs of jeans to kind of maybe put some patches on, maybe do some um, embroidery myself. And then the third pair were like these army cargo pants. But I don't know if like, they fit really nicely, but I'm not sure how I feel about army print, like camo print. I don't know. I feel like it might be a bit much for a trouser to be full camo. But I think I'm going to hold on to them because they fit really nicely and see how I could style them and see if I can get away with it. Um, I kind of wish maybe they were another colour because I did like when, I know it's ages ago, but when like blue camo and pink camo were kind of a thing for a while. <laughs> I did quite like that print. But yeah, these are just normal army print cargo pants. They're not really jeans, but they fit really nicely. So I just wanted to welcome you to the world of men's jeans if you've not already tried them because some of the mum jeans just don't fit right, I think. Or they're really expensive for the ones that do fit nicely. So if you know your waist size and jeans, check out some men's jeans, even if you're in like a charity shop or something, because they may fit like mum jeans. And then generally men's wear, I think, in charity shops and stuff are cheaper because um, 
I don't know if I'm generalising here, but I think girls shop more at charity shops than men. Maybe not in London, but I don't know. I've I've found generally that men's stuff is a bit cheaper in charity shops when I've been anyway. But you could always like check out car boot sales and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on is to having a little look at the men's wear as well as women's, so I can find things a little bit cheaper now that I know that they actually fit properly. So. I just thought I'd mention that, maybe I can put a video or I'll post some pictures of me wearing the jeans so you can see how they fit. But that's everything that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully later in the month I can kind of share with you some things that I may have purchased with say my um, Lush voucher and I've got a little bit more money so I think I'm going to go do some shopping. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I've got to try and be good because I have so many clothes. You can see behind me those mirrors. That's my wardrobe, but it's really not enough room. I've got another, like, one of those plastic sets of drawers. And I've got so many things in there as well that maybe it's not wise to go purchase stuff that's, like, clothing. So I may try and stick to just kind of treating myself to some jewellery and some accessories. And I'd quite like to try out some knit. Um, makeup because they're a cruelty free brand from what I've read online I didn't realise and their stuff seems to be really affordable so I'm going to go check out some NYX products and see how I get along with those so maybe I can do a little video eventually in a month or so when I've been trying them for long enough to give you my opinion but anyway thank you for watching um, sorry if I've been a little bit quiet in this video my housemates are in the house and I feel a bit awkward because I think they can not sure if they can. But anyway, see you!